I know you all have been waiting for the CK series to start as what I've promised last month and this is what I'm working on for the past one month. I have been busy with recording day and night so that I could complete within the time that I have suggested. And now that I have completed the recording of all the videos, we are ready to publish. But before that, before we start the series, I had to make some important announcements. So that is why I'm recording this video. I promise I'm going to keep it short and to the point. It's going to be a short video and I have a total of four announcements to make. First is about the course introduction, because when I did the previous video, when I announced the course, I did not know how many videos will be there in the series. Now that I have recorded all of them, I know how many are there and what all the topics that I have included with every single detail. So we'll discuss on that. Then I'm going to explain how you can uh, get help and assistance if you're stuck somewhere or if you are not able to understand any of the, the concepts or if you are facing any issues while doing the hands on after following this series. So I'll show you those details and I will also discuss about the regular Q&A sessions, the live Q&A sessions that we'll be doing for this series until the end of this series. And last but not the least, I'm introducing a new challenge. It's called 40 days of Kubernetes and I'm going to explain all the details about the challenge, how to participate, what are the prizes and basically all the details about it. So do not miss that part. and. Stay with me till the end of the video. As I've told you before, it's going to be a short video. So let's dive into the video. All right. So I'm in my GitHub repository. I have prepared a GitHub repository to keep everything at one place for this entire series. So link will be there in the description section. It starts from here. So it says first video will be live on 16 June, which is today. So this is day zero uh, intro to the series and about the announcement that I was about to make. So let's start with the course introduction part. So this series will have a total of 40 videos and every single detail is over here. If you keep scrolling down till the end, we have 40 videos and at the end, the 40th video is an, a real time project, which include every single topic. So it will have probes, it will have deployment services, it will have ingress and lots of other concepts that we have discussed throughout the series and it will be a hands-on real-time project. Actually, it was a task that was given to me in one of the interviews. And it's really a good hands-on practice if you complete this project, right? So we'll do that at the very end. And after that, there'll be a bonus video in which we'll discuss about a few details about the exam, you know, the exam pattern, the last minute preparation, tips and tricks and so on. So that we'll be doing in the last video. So total there are like 41 videos, it's just the 40th video, let's call it bonus video for now, right? So we'll have every single topic covered over here with demo, with explanation, uh, with diagrams, code snippets and everything will be there. So all these resources you can find inside the resources folder over here and every folder uh, will have two files mostly and there'll be many other files but two files will always be there one is resources.md and another one is task.md in resources.md will have as i said uh, diagrams code snippets and a few of the notes as well from the video so all those details will be here and these details will be populated once the video is live so let's say i've published day one video today so this github file will be updated as soon as the video is live and for the day two video, once the day two video is live and so on, right? So that is why it is empty because the day one video is not live yet. And then we have a task.md file. In this file, there'll be a task, a task that you will be completed, a hands-on task or something uh, that you do to improve your learning, to share your learning in public for what you have learned already in the video, right? And the next part is so that was the course introduction we will be doing that for 40 days there will be at least three to four videos per week okay at the same time and i can publish more videos if i get good response with your comments likes and so on so it depends on how you are supporting me but at least there will be three four videos per week right and um the second part is Discord community server for assistance. So, so let me show you this. So we have a dedicated Discord community server for our CloudOps community in which we help each other uh, if we are stuck somewhere or if we are facing any issues. So this is the server. You will find the link in the description section. 
and once you join the server first go to this channel introduce yourself and basically just give your introduction to the community about yourself like whatever you want to share then we have a general section where you can ask any general question not specific to anything but just general anything right for example like i've just got this today uh, is your playlist coming today i'm waiting for your playlist and i am excited for kate's playlist yes mahesh i am also very excited publishing this playlist i have been working on this for past one and a half months or so and yes uh, it's gonna be an exciting learning journey for every one of us so yes i'm gonna reply to this message after this video then we have different other channels that you can go through there is a help general and then there is channel for every single uh, playlist or every single course that we have covered so for example 10 weeks of cloud ops this was the challenge that was running so for that we have a dedicated channel for azure devops series we have a channel for this kubernetes series we have a 40 days of kubernetes challenge i'm gonna explain what 40 days of kubernetes is but for any ck related any kubernetes related questions that you have you can go inside this channel right and then you can click on new post while creating the post make sure you read about this thing okay the rules of uh, posting it so it has few details like post your issue summary uh, steps to reproduce expected results actual results error details github repo if it has code or any other relevant details the more details you provide the easier it would be for someone to help you out so make sure you provide these details before posting your questions and someone will help you out and also tag at the rate helper so that helpers will be notified and do not tag individual users uh, it will be difficult for a you know individual users to help you so just tag this helper role it will have a group of people that are ready to help you so they'll be notified right so that was uh, about the server here you can ask your question and someone will help you out i just created it there is no uh, post really to it at this moment so yeah, yeah there you can create the post and uh, there is a voice channel it's called hangout so every week because the third announcement was about the live q a session so every weekend every sunday we'll be doing a live session for the ck q a so every question that you have for that week or previous week videos related to that anything we can discuss that on a youtube live or we can stream it over here so i'm still working on it whether i should be doing it live on youtube or a discord server hangout so let me know in the comment uh, what is your preferred way of the q a is it uh, the youtube live or is it the discord live on this hangout channel so let me know in the comments okay and uh, where is our github repository uh, okay here it is okay so yeah these things were done now the part 40 days of kubernetes challenge so this challenge i have started specifically for this video and all the details are there in this particular file or the file is here as well 40 days of kubernetes.md so what it is the challenge starts on monday 17 june the day i publish my first video the day one video and it ends after the first week and after i have completed all the videos a week after that right so the challenge is there'll be a task.md in every of the folder right day one video day two video till day 20 so you have to complete that task and then you have to share your learning in the public whatever you have learned from that task or the solution to that task or anything else that you have learned in the video in the simple possible language so that anyone reading that could understand what you are trying to say right even a beginner in kubernetes and it has to be in a blog post so that blog post should be linked in the linkedin or twitter post right so write that down and there are specific instructions like uh, you know tag myself and cloudops community so that we are aware about your submissions and use the ha hashtag 40 days of kubernetes so yes uh, use this hashtag and there are a few more things like uh, i've already told you make it easy to understand so that anyone can grasp the concept regardless of their prior experience and embed the video in the blog so whichever video you have followed let's say you are completing the task of day one video so embed the day one video in the blog post so that your content will be visually appealing as well as you know i know that you have completed all the prerequisites of the challenge and then there'll be as i've told you there'll be multiple winners after the challenge concludes i'll announce multiple winners there could be five there could be ten depending on the response i get and yes we don't have any sponsors so i'll be sponsoring that myself all the prizes and it 
will be global competition that means regardless of your location whichever part of the world you are in i will send you the gifts if you are one of the winners and if there is some restrictions let's say delivery is not possible in your location so i will send an alternative gift card but you will get get the gift if you are a winner so yeah stay tuned for that and last but not the least remember this challenge is not about winning the prizes although prize are one of the motivating factor but we are doing this challenge so that you can learn kubernetes by hands on you can do the hands on by yourself you can keep up the pace as we are progressing with the series and you are also sharing your learning in public yeah i don't have to explain you the benefits of sharing learning in public but you will see the results as you progress through it and then it will help you uh, gain exposure and uh, it will help you you know tackle the real world kubernetes problems with the hands on experience that you do right so there are two things one is getting the required skill and the other one is showcase your skill to the world to the hiring managers to the recruiters and so on so this challenge will help you in both the aspects of it right with the uh, youtube playlist you will be getting all the required skills and with this challenge you will be able to showcase your skills so i have tried to cover those perspective right so this is about 40 weeks of uh, kubernetes challenge so try to get the best out of it try to make the advantage of this opportunity and share it with whoever you feel can take uh, this learning advantage right and yeah i mean if you like it if you like the content feel free to start the repository and you know share this series with your friends family colleagues whoever can learn from it and basically try to spread the word out there and yeah so tomorrow on 17 june i will be publishing first video and i will schedule the rest of the videos for for the week as well so stay tuned for that keep watching keep doing the hands on and keep supporting thank you so much and i wish you have a good day